Could you shed more light on how to do on how English articles help foreign language sites? For example, is the effectiveness of English SEO for a foreign website immensely lower than that of foreign SEO? Let's say I have a dental clinic in Lithuania, and since it's difficult to get guest posts in Lithuania, I hire an English language agency like your own. You're writing guest posts, but how does the Lithuanian Google know it should boost my rankings? Does a mechanism like Google Translate come into play with the algorithms? So, you know, you know, links by and large, the way links work is Google is just saying, hey, uh, this website who we actually really like, they're saying this other website is good. And so it doesn't, uh, to some extent, it doesn't even matter what the languages are um, because Google likes this website and they see your website and they see that you're, you're endorsed, they're endorsing them essentially. Uh, that being said, um, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense for a Lithuanian website to get like only a bunch of English links all the time, right? You would, you would generally think that this Lithuanian website written in Lithuanian language is going to get links from Lithuanian stuff. So the thing you want to be careful with is not creating a very unnatural picture where you're getting like only all these English links, right? Uh, but I also will say, that uh, a foreign website getting a bunch of English links seems to work better than an English website getting a bunch of foreign links. Um, would you have any disagreements? No, that sounds that, about right on average if I think about it, yeah. Yeah, so basically, you know, the Google's job is hard. All this stuff with processing language and, and figuring out what it all means and stuff as like a robot, like this is not, you know, we, we do it naturally just by talking and stuff, but this is actually like very difficult complex stuff when you try to boil it all down into these simple pieces. And so Google's algorithm is first and foremost fine tuned for English. So, you know, as far as doing something very unnatural, they're, they're, they're much, they can see that much easier and, and uh, can give like penalties and stuff or whatever, much easier on, on the English stuff and the foreign stuff that the algorithm isn't as advanced yet. Basically that they, they have a harder time with other languages. And so basically you can get away with more, um, stuff that maybe you wouldn't be able to get away with on uh, English speaking sites. Um, but yeah, you know, my advice would just be, you know, English links are fine, but you're definitely gonna wanna get some Lit Lithuanian stuff as well. Yeah. Um, just that, that's natural. Yeah, e right? Even if it's hard to get Lithuanian stuff. Okay, so let's tie into, um, yeah, you can take English um, language stuff and put it in through translate and then doctor it up again as, if you speak Lithuanian. Um, and get it to work just fine um, in my experience. Um, so knowing that, you know, if it's hard to get Lithuanian guest posts, well, the cool thing about Web 2.0s or links like that is they, you know, can be done in whatever language you want. Um, and hypothetical... A little PBN network. Yeah, PBN network. That's another great way to do it. Um, you know, it from a quote natural standpoint it's fine for a foreign language site to um, get uh, posts in english um, or vice versa because a website can get um, international notoriety for any number of reasons or maybe somebody's cousin lives somewhere and just wants to write an article about um you know <laughs> their their cousin in lithuania who's a dentist um, but the point being that, uh, you know, this stuff can happen naturally and so it's fine. But yes, like Chris said, um, best practice is to try and get majority of your links in the language that you're trying to rank for. However, um, if you're trying to inject a little bit more power um, or authority um, on the back end, then sometimes this might be your only option, especially if, um, you know, the blogs that you've got access to are sparse in any particular language or geographic region. So. Um, but yeah. also, uh, why is it harder to get Lithuanian guest posts? I mean, maybe because you're you're saying you can't you can't get. They're them probably trying to provider. buy them, right? Like yeah, vendors. Okay, okay. So yeah, if you're trying to buy them, then yeah, of course, less options. But you know, the the fix to that is do the outreach yourself. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's there's a bunch of different ways to go about this, but in essence, you're literally emailing websites and having a conversation with them and uh, trying to figure out you know, a way to secure a link on their website. Uh, you know, that's how agencies, Strike a deal. that's how agencies like us work. You know, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. not like there's no like magic science or anything. We're literally reaching out to people. Um, yeah. it's kind of like, uh, um, 
you know, it's kind of like a, an old school way of, of doing things, even, you know, just uh, calling someone up and uh, just establishing a relationship with them and trying to get something you want. It's, uh, it's actually very low tech, <laughs> but there's a bunch of, you yeah. know, there's a bunch of tools and stuff to try to automate this and, uh, you know, just to try to get it the most out of your time because it's a, it's a mind numbing process, right? And um, it can take a lot of your time if you, if you don't have the proper stuff set up to do it. On the, on the reverse though, it opens up a lot of doors, right? You know, maybe uh, you're on, like it's less competition to get links on some of the bigger sites, bigger Lithuanian sites. Yeah. And quite honestly, they're, they're probably you know, not, hit me up. If you gain access to a huge site, I don't care what language it's in, um, you know, if I don't have a link or it's, uh, you know, kind of an obscure link, I'd love to buy it myself. Yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, big English sites, like, oh, my God, it's like you just can't get away from the from the spam about people just want, wanting links on your site. Once you start ranking for anything, right, um, mm -hmm. then it makes them easier to find you. And, um, but yeah, you know, it might work to your advantage. It might be actually much easier to get Lithuanian links because they might not be bombarded because basically everyone in the world is bombarding English websites to try to get links on them. Right. Uh, but not everyone in the world is bombarding the Lithuanian sites. So, you know, it might be as simple as just sending them a nice bespoke outreach email, like an outreach email tailored for their business or their niche or whatever. Um, so yeah, that'd actually be easier. Just, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just a matter of setting up the process for yourself and having a little bit of automation to, to work through. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!